Hello everyone, this is Jacob Ames, Applications Engineer with Hawkridge Systems, here today to talk about the different capabilities of the various versions of SolidWorks simulation. Now before diving into the details of the simulation add-in, um, I'd like you to ask yourself, what are you actually trying to simulate? Now if your simulation needs are relatively simple, that being specifically, if you only require static analyses and you're only looking at individual parts in SolidWorks, then the Simulation Express tool may be a good fit for you. And I like to mention this because the Simulation Express tool is available in every version of SOLIDWORKS. And if you would like some additional information with respect to Simulation Express, we do have a blog article and a video as well entitled, Is Simulation Express Enough? So I encourage you to check that out. Now additionally, if you own a license of SOLIDWORKS Premium, you already have access to a lightweight version of the simulation add-in. So you do need to make sure to enable this. You want to choose SOLIDWORKS Simulation from the add-ins, and you will see that if you have SOLIDWORKS Premium. And this extends those static simulation capabilities to assemblies, and also gives you some more advanced fixtures and load types. And you even have tools for evaluating and manipulating the results of your simulation studies. So again, it's going to be a little bit limited. You only have those static studies, but that can be very valuable information nonetheless. Now, if your simulation needs are more advanced than what we've discussed so far, it's probably worth considering the simulation add-in, which comes in three varieties. You have your standard, professional, and premium. Each version does come with its own capabilities, and it does include all the capabilities of any versions below it. So starting with Simulation Standard, uh, let's move over to the Simulation Standard tab and start a new study here. You will have access to Static and Fatigue Analysis. So the two major additional tools that are introduced with the Standard add-in, the Fatigue Study, and additionally, the Trend Tracker. So as far as Fatigue Studies are concerned, if you're designing products that undergo thousands or even millions of loading cycles, and you want to evaluate those to make sure that they don't fail, um, SolidWorks uh, simulation standard add-in will have that available. And the trend tracker is a really nice tool that I would like to uh, show very quickly. So we actually already have a static analysis set up here. We can go ahead and view the results. You'll see I have stress, displacement, strain, and factor of safety. All of those are available. And we also have this trend tracker. And what this does is it actually allows you to perform iterative simulations on different versions of your design and then actually plot the simulation results in a line graph like so. So you can actually see how the mass has changed with each iteration. Uh, we can go ahead and look at stress, for example, and you can use this information to determine if the geometric changes or the material changes that you've made to your designs um, have impacted your design in a positive or a negative way and compare those. And you can even roll back to previous iterations if you would like as well. So those are the two major tools that are introduced in simulation standard. Now moving on to Simulation Professional, this ups the ante with uh, a new variety of study types. So if we go back very quickly to a new study here, you're going to get thermal, frequency, buckling, drop test, pressure vessel design, and design study. So we have a variety of new studies available. And the design study tab, or a study here, actually allows you to optimize your designs and evaluate them. So if you would like to minimize the mass, for example, um, or if you want to minimize cost, you can set variables, constraints, and goals, and SOLIDWORKS will actually do the heavy lifting for you um, to go ahead and minimize mass while retaining a constraint like a minimum factor of safety or a minimum stress. Now moving back to simulation premium, if we go ahead and start another new study here, that's where things get really interesting because at this point you'll have access to nonlinear and linear dynamic studies. So if your design applications often include things like time dependent loads and displacements or very large deformations or uh, nonlinear materials, for example, these two studies are going to be critical um, to allow you to validate your designs before you get into manufacturing. And you can even uh, view intermediate results while the simulation is running. Now, if your simulation scenarios are exceptionally complex, you might consider having a look at our article on SOLIDWORKS simulation versus Abacus. Uh, that's a nice tool as well for some exceptionally complex scenarios that may need a little bit more simulation power. Last thing I want to show here is a quick table. And I'll go ahead and leave this up for a second in case you'd like to pause the screen, but this gives you a good idea of uh, the different capabilities of all the different simulation environments, including Simulation Express 
and SOLIDWORKS Premium. If you enjoyed this video, please give us a like, subscribe, or visit us at hawkridgesys.com. Thanks for watching, and see you next time.